Hey guys, this is Speed Dota, back with the drafting video for Beastmaster. First, we'll be talking about heroes that work well or don't work well with Beastmaster. So for starters, what heroes are good with Beastmaster? Typically, what would make most sense is heroes that naturally benefit from inner beasts, such as like in Monkey King and Luna. It's pretty self-explanatory. Something that's a little less obvious is strong partners for dual lanes, such as Io, Skyrath Mage, Leshrac, and Shakiro. Beastmaster benefits a lot from having a good landing stage, so these heroes are very important when drafting Beastmaster. And quick follow up to Roar, such as Skyrath, once again, Invoker, and Lina. It is very nice whenever you roar a target that you have the ability to blow them up so they aren't saved and your ultimate is wasted. On the other hand, what heroes are bad with Beastmaster? There aren't really many in particular that don't work well with Beastmaster because Beastmaster is a very well balanced hero that can play Sacrificial and Roam, or he can split push and farm items to become somewhat of a carry. In addition, it might seem bad to pick magic based heroes such as Zeus and Skyrath because they don't benefit from the inner beast, but the vision and control Beastmaster provides can help these squishy heroes safely pump out damage from the back lines. When discussing what heroes Beastmaster is good against and bad against, it is first important to understand that this is general as Beastmaster can provide tools that are useful every game, but can often seem underwhelming with a poor start. So for starters, he's typically good against heroes that have a slow start and that are weak in lane, such as uh, Spectre and AM. It's because as we talked about, he needs a strong laning stage. He's often considered to be strong against heroes with built-in spell immunity or heroes that rely on BKB, such as Jug and Lifestealer, but make sure you're careful if you pick Beastmaster and a Life Sealer and have a poor laning stage, you might feel very miserable throughout the course of the game. And he's also strong against heroes that are weak against high physical damage, as he amps it greatly, such as Huskar, Tiny, and Doom. So which heroes are Beastmaster bad against? For example, Winter Wyvern, as Winter's Curse turns Inner Beast and all of your summons against you or a teammate, and Winter Wyvern is also strong at pushing out waves and defending against your split push. He's also bad against illusion based heroes, such as Phantom Lancer, because it's hard to wear them in the fights. Although it could be good for picking him off, a hero like Phantom Lancer does well against Beastmaster in the lane because of his high armor and damage, and is very hard to roar in mid-game team fights. The most important one I would say to look out for when picking Beastmaster is strong laners, because it is crucial in this meta that you have a good lane as Beastmaster. Some of these strong laners typically supports, such as the Banes, the Jakiro, Witch Doctor, and maybe even CK as a carry, as he can set up a lot of kill potential on you. So finally, it would make a lot of sense that Lincoln's carriers can counter Beastmaster, and they certainly do. A hero like Morphling can have a good laning stage against Beastmaster, and then turn it into a Lincoln's, and then Beastmaster feels very weak at killing Morphling. So in the past, Beastmaster was focused more on his summons for the laning stage, and just throughout all the game in general. But now, because of the change to his wild axes, heroes such as CM, and Murana, and even Witch Doctor, are not necessarily as hard of counters to him, because they might not have the best of laning stage, as a support. Witch Doctor, out of the three, is the best because he can use his other skills to help win the lane, but do not focus the drafting on being afraid of supports that can kill off your summons, more that can harass you in lane. So when should you look to pick Beastmaster in a ranked game? Typically I would say try to pick second or third with a strong dual lane support, or reek a solo lane carry. Typically you won't have the luxury of seeing the enemy safe lane carry, so it's more important to look for a strong dual lane support. To summarize the main parts of Beastmaster drafting, I would say it's most important currently in this meta that you look for strong lanes, but feel free to pick the hero early as he can have impact in nearly every situation. Thank you for watching this Beastmaster guide on drafting.